What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So comment of the day is popping up on the screen right now. If you guys want to be featured in a video, drop a comment down below this video, something positive, something about the video, just something you enjoyed, anything like that, and it might get featured in the next video. But today we are going to be creating our own sandblasting gun. So I've been watching a couple of videos and trying to figure out what I wanted. As you guys know, I have the oven back here for powder coating and I have a lot of new powder for the F-150 back here. I need to sandblast, I need to get old paint and everything off, get it down to bare metal and get it you know, prepared to be sandblasted. And I found a really good trick on some stuff that everyone can use. The only thing you'll need is an air compressor. We're gonna need some sand and we'll need this air gun from Harbor Freight. So I'm gonna go to Lowe's to pick up some play sand. I will show you guys what I'm picking up and then we're going to Harbor Freight to pick up our air, it's like an air blast gun, but we're gonna modify it to work as a sand blasting gun. I'm gonna show you guys step by step. So let's jump right into it. All right, so I'm at Lowe's and I'm looking for some play sand, the type of sand that you would you know, make around a kid's play set or anything like that, just kind of like beach sand. And they sell it in bags. Um, I looked around inside and I didn't really find much I was looking for. I'm outside and all these bags out here have moisture in them. So I'm gonna walk around a little bit far, a little bit longer inside and see if I can find some of that play sand inside. I want it dry. You do not want it wet because then it's gonna be like mud. So I'm gonna keep looking around inside, see if I can find some play sand. We got our play sand. Unfortunately, there was four workers hanging out right next to it, but $4 a bag for a 50 pound bag. This is what it looks like. But now we're all set for that and we head to Harper Fruit. So like I said, what we are looking for here is an air gun. And it is right here. Four piece blow gun kit, $4.99. This is exactly what we're looking for. Now you can buy an air regulator to regulate the air pressure coming out of this, but I'm just gonna use my air compressor regulator to regu regulate what PSI I wanna spray at. But this is all you need, $4.99. Catch you guys at the house. Just a quick comparison between Harbor Freight Central Pneumatic Blast Gun with Gravity Feed. So this is just a sand blaster. It is $20 versus only this and an empty Coke bottle or whatever type of plastic bottle you have will work fine with this. So five bucks versus 20. I'll show you guys what we can do with this. All right, so our grand total was 1487 right there. And I ended up getting a male quarter inch connector for our air hose and I got a air compressor regulator just because I figured if I'm making this, I might as well just go ahead and buy this. I'm already here, uh, I mean, $15 total. We've got our four piece blow gun kit. We've got our air compressor reg regulator and we've got our fitting that screws into this and we are all set. So now all that's left is go home, show you guys how this works. All right, now back at the house, I got my air regulator taken out. I got my mail and connected with some what the hell this is called, it's like air sealant tape. There's a name for it, I can't remember it. But now we've got this, I'm gonna go ahead and separate this. Teflon tape, that's what it's called. All right, so now we're gonna take our Teflon tape and wrap it around the male end of our gun. Now we're gonna screw this into our air regulator. Okay, now that we have that set up, let's get our nozzles out of here. I'm not gonna be using the small one. I'm going to be using the larger one. So how this works is we have a bottle. What we are going to be doing is shaving down a hole in this and then shoving it through the bottle. We will fill the bottle with sand and it will be gravity fed. So as the air comes through the tube, it the sand will then go in the hole that we shave, which will then suck in the sand and blow it out at a high pressure of air, depending on what pressure you set it at. I just went ahead and cleaned this bottle out. I've got it drying right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a file. Now I've got my file. I'm going to go ahead and shave a hole into this. I 
a lot of sanding or well, filing later. You have a nice hole in the bottom of it. Now I did at the bottom because you want it to be gravity fed. You want just the sand falling. You want the air to suck the sand out of it so it's not just pouring out the entire time. Now we are going to get our bottle, get our cap, and now we need to find a drill bit the same size. So I've got a 3 16 drill bit. Now going to drill our hole. Now let's make sure she fits. Oh yeah, she fits good and tight. Nice. So now we will fill the bottle up with sand and we now have a sand blaster. So I now need to find something for you guys for me to sand blast. This is what I'm gonna be sand blasting. I figured I could powder coat this anyways. So this is just a rehitch off a truck. We've got our sand in our bottle. We've got our air gun. So I'm gonna fit this through the holes of our bottle. And guys, you can use any type of bottle. I mean, I'm sure you could use a, a gallon jug if you wanted to. Flip this over and go to town. Okay, I'm gonna fair warn you, this is dirty as hell. I understand why people use blasting cabinets now, because I just got completely pelted with sand. All right, maybe let's not do this in the box because I feel like I'm getting hit with sand that is coming out of the box. how well you guys could tell on camera but this thing it does sandblast but it makes a massive mess there is sand freaking everywhere I understand why people get sandblasting cabinets because the second you hit a corner you get pelted with sand like you're in the middle of a hurricane and if you ain't from Florida getting pelted with sand in a hurricane is not fun this whole side is sandblasted we've got a little bit more to do here this side of the ball is done uh, some right here is done. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and do this. It's actually, it's quite fun to be honest. I know that sounds crazy, but it kind of, it's kind of satisfying. You just go slow over it and, and you just watch, this is powder coat that's on here. You just watch the powder coat just come off and it's honestly pretty, pretty calming. And the nice thing about this is you can sweep up all your sand filter it and you can reuse it. Um, I do suggest getting some type of filter for this sand because I've got rocks coming through the bottle and I don't know if you guys can tell in the time lapse but the bottle would get clogged. I'd have to pull the tube out, clear out the tube and then slide the tube back in and go back at it. Nice. We're $20 total into this entire thing. It was $4.58 for a bag of sand and then $4.99 for the air gun and then it was $5.99 for the air regulator and like $2 for that fitting. I mean, in total, we're less than $20 and we have everything we need besides an air compressor to sandblast. So if your grandfather has an air, a air compressor, your dad, your brother, your cousin, your uncle, your neighbor, whoever, and you can use that air compressor, that saves you money. I bought my, my air compressor on clearance at Harbor Freight for, I think it was $110. It's a 21 gallon, 125 maximum PSI. I'm running the sandblaster right around 6570 and it's working great. So I'm gonna finish going at this and I mean, hell, we could sandblast this entire thing and I'll run it on the 7.3 once we get some powder in for it. I mean, I think that'd be pretty cool. So I'm gonna keep going at it and get this thing completely sandblasted. My life been looking gorgeous. Take one day at a time. I pray I never have to force it. Got bad women for me. Tell they man he need to force it. I'm standing with the torch gripped in my hand. I'm hella calm. The other palm hold my fortune. I live ready to die. My mama hate me. Sounded morbid. Growing up, my daddy got caught up in chasing fortune. He'd probably be more proud if I was doctor or a lawyer. But I'm paid to be aligned with only living in the moment. And I can't have my target with me locked behind these bars or in a spot that I can conquer. And just like that, we have, I'd say, 90% of it sandblasted. Guys, it's 7.30 at night. Uh, I just scooped up a lot of the sand I used. I think I got about, I don't know, at least 50% of what I used back up. Uh, but like I said, this is $4 for a 50 pound bag. Uh, but we got, I think, a good amount of this 
sandblasted. Definitely enough for us to coat this. And guys, it's a grease hitch. This isn't like a axle or I don't know, a coil spring or anything like that. So you guys stay tuned for the next video dropping after this one right here. We are going to be pulling the coil springs and everything out of the F-150 and sandblasting them and powder coating them. So guys, I have one goal for you at the end of this video. Go down and drop a like on it. If this video gets 200 likes, I will go buy a sandblasting cabinet to make my life a lot easier. Sandblasting cabinet is $200, so I figured 200 lights would be simple enough. We've got almost 12,000 subscribers. Should be able to hit 200 lights like nothing. So after this video is over, go down, drop a like on it. Remember, leave a comment at the bottom of the video. We're doing comments of the day in every single video where I pop up a comment from the last video. So say something positive about the video, what you enjoyed, what's going on in your life, anything like that. Just drop something down below and it might just get featured in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, you can pick up all the stuff I use, including the sand. The sand the sand blaster, everything I use besides an air compressor for under $20. $20 and you can have everything I just used to, whether you're removing rust, to paint it or powder coat it, whatever it might be, 20 bucks and you can have what I use in this video. So enjoyed it, drop a like on it, hit that subscribe button. I will catch you guys in the next one. Remember to be fucking great. I love y'all, peace. As you can